What is this place? Well, this is the lab, and this is the last video that's going to be shot in the lab. And I kind of want to talk about that today. So first off, uh, I graduated. I graduated from graduate school. I have, well, I almost have my PhD, so I have to actually click submit on the dissertation next week, and then they'll actually confirm my degree in January. But I wrote my dissertation, my committee read it and signed off on it, and I successfully passed my oral defense, and that's, that's it. There, I have to check an administrative checkbox, but uh, I'm now like one checkbox away from Alex Danis PhD, which is crazy um, and exciting and I'm really excited for the next chapter of my life and I have a lot of thoughts on the whole PhD experience and I'm going to put all of that into a much more produced video that is coming at you soon. But I kind of just wanted to sit down today and script free uh, and bullet point free, which I never do, just talk about the lab. So this lab has been my home for the past four-ish years. I rotated in this lab uh, the second quarter of my first year of graduate school and then rotated in another lab and then I officially joined in June of 2014. So I've been pursuing my thesis research for a little over four years now, but that was after the first initial year of grad school. So I've been here for a while. I haven't actually always been here. Uh, when I first rotated, I was sitting on the other bench over, but pretty soon after I officially joined, this area over here that you can't see when I'm filming because it's always covered in like my microphone case and all this extra filming stuff has been my desk for a while. And this bench back here that you can see has been my lab home here and the tissue culture room and the other room where I spent hours every day, uh, especially at the beginning, growing and culturing cells to do experiments on. So it's weird to me that I'm not going to be here every day anymore. It's been weird over the past couple of weeks since I defended my PhD. I've been in the process of moving and wrapping things up and I haven't actually been doing experiments with pipettes. I haven't, I haven't been doing any experiments and it's been weird to not have to come in every day and when I do come in, I'm not working over there. In fact, I cleaned off most of my stuff. Somebody else now has their stuff on my bench, which I can't blame them for like they should. It's, it's time, it's time for other people to use that space, but it's weird. I, I outlasted the super noisy fridge, but the super noisy fridge has now been replaced by a super noisy sequencer. And I've, you know, seen, seen some good, good equipment come and go. Um, but, you know, the lab is more than just this space. The lab isn't really this technical space that I'm sitting in. The lab is the people. So, well, you know, I'm gonna, gonna miss my bench and I'm gonna miss my pipettes and I'm not taking the stickers on them that say Alex off. Somebody else can do that after I've left so I don't have to see that happen. Um, it's the people that I'm gonna miss and I'm gonna miss them a lot. These are people that I've worked with every single day for the past four-ish years and it's weird to think that I'm not gonna see them anymore and that's the way that labs are, right? Graduate students graduate at some point and undergrads come and go in the summers and technicians find new jobs and postdocs move on to new things. And this is what happens is there's this constant turnover of people in the lab. And currently I am the person in my lab who has been here uh, in the wet lab the longest. So it's my turn to go and time for new people to come in. And that's just sort of the ecosystem of the lab that there's always this turnover and this movement of people and ideas. And I don't want to get too sappy. I spent like five or 10 minutes after my thesis defense in the acknowledgement section, like trying not to cry in front of the audience as I thanked everybody. Uh, and I had to cut off all the thank yous because I realized I was going to cry. So everybody's thank yous got cut way short, but it's been a great group of people to work with and I'm gonna miss them all a bunch. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's funny, this too has been my lab setup for filming for a while. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you, you, right? So 
So sometimes I have a bigger camera here, but I have this ring light and I try and use uh, natural light as well. I don't know, it's just, it's weird. It's weird that I won't be here doing science. It's weird that I won't be here filming videos. And I, I didn't film as many videos here as I thought I was going to. I did great that first year that I was filming in here regularly, which I think was my third or like three and a half year of grad school. Uh, and I was posting almost a video a week and it was great. And then fourth and fifth year hit and you know, I got a little busy finishing up my PhD. So I had to sort of slow down on the videos a bit. So thank you to you guys for sticking around through this part of my YouTube channel. I mean, some of you have been here since Bite Sized when I was doing weekly videos in my bedroom in Boston. And many of you have been here through all the grad school years, which have been sporadic, uh, but I hope that they've still given you a glimpse into life as a graduate student and the things that I think about and the things that I was excited about being in lab and what being in a lab is like. Grad school is real up and down, but having a place, a physical place that I felt like was mine and having people who I knew were gonna be there for me and who were gonna help teach me and who were gonna learn beside me and who were gonna help me out on the good days and the bad days. Those things mattered a lot. Having a lab mattered a lot. I don't wanna end it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna say those words because then this video is over here. I guess I should though. I'm, I'm babbling just to fill time. Go forth and do science. That's what I'm gonna do. And this is the refrigerator that makes so much noise and I always have to wait for it to stop making noise so that I can film. Why are you so loud? Why? No fridge! Oh. And our E. coli Y refrigerator. Why? Of course, fridge. I was so close. So close. Meh. I don't swear in these videos, but if I wanted to, instead of saying another F word, could I just be like, fridge? Refrigerator. <laughs>